Hey everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Manifesting Winning Lottery Tickets. Uh, if you watched my previous video, you'll know that my husband came home and just plopped this guy right on my desk. And if you look down here, he got three of the winning symbols on that side. And I probably can't show you. Three on the other side. So they equal nine times. If you get three symbols, you get nine times the prize. Turns out five times nine is 45. Five times nine is 45. He won $90 on that ticket. So he said, oh, by the way, I got you a couple little tickies. So I said, oh, thank you so much. So I got a $2, which is, we all know the story with this guy. I love the concept of the ticket because it's lucky number 7, 11, and 21, which is my number. Top prize, 21,000, which is my favorite number, 21. So, and it's really, I really struggled. Ooh, look at ticket number 61. 6 plus 1 is 7. Maybe that means something, right? So I'm going to have some hope. I'm going to take a different approach with this guy. I'm going to look at the winning amounts, the prize amounts first. And I'm going to start with the largest and then work my way down. Something different. Ooh, two. Wow. Ooh, 40. Uh-oh, what's that? 21! Let's do that guy first. So in order to win, you need a 7, 11, or a 21. Let us begin. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so we didn't get the 21,000. Let's try for 40. Or whatever multiple it is. Okay. Next dollar amount, the 10. 7, 11, 21, speak it into existence, 7, 11, ooh, 33, 44, or what, 22, no, <laughs> 7, 11, 21, oh, there's your 22, that's not going to help, guys, come on, keep teasing me, last chance, Twenty-one. No. Oh my gosh, that ticket frustrates the hell out of me. Okay, that is not a winner. On to the next. Let us see. Okay. Crosswords. This is a three dollar called cash word. It's a crossword. Blah blah blah. Ticket number fifty-eight. Top prize seventy-five thousand. These take a little bit longer to do, and I usually like to take my time with them because I like to play games. I don't like to just scratch. You know what I mean? You have to kind of work for it. I like the work part of it. X and D. I like the game part of it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I already know if that's that, then the vowels are over here. And the vowels are usually all five in a row, so... I'm going to take the liberty of scratching those. A E I O U. And then just get rid of those, get rid of them in the letter H. So we can move this along a little bit. Anyway, how's your summer going? I can't believe it's almost August already. I mean, like, well, okay, it's the middle of July, but soon to be August. We're headed into Leo season. There's a full moon on the 24th of July. Full moon in Aquarius and also this is something now I started getting into astrology and such but there's a full moon in Aquarius July 24th and then there's another full moon in Aquarius August 22nd which I think the experts are talking about the uniqueness of having two consecutive full moon in Aquarius. So that ought to be interesting. I am ruled by the moon. My son is Cancer. 
my Pis my my moon is in Pisces, so I'm a heavy water sign, and I am my moods are affected by the moon cycles, and I'm very cognizant of how the planetary alignments affect people's energy and moon and um, emotions and such and moon, right? Anyway, so let me know in the comments below what is your sun sign? What is your moon sign? What is your rising sign? Now, if you don't know your moon and your rising and all the other things, I'm going to give you a heads up. Go to cafeastrology.com, put in your time and place of birth, and it will tell you where all the planets were at the moment of your birth. And you'll get a report, free prenatal report, and you'll have a better understanding of who you are, why you are here, what your gifts are who you're compatible with, why you struggle in certain areas of your life. And it really is an eye-opener to know how much of an impact that thing that we take for granted. Oh, yeah, back in the day. What sign are you? And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm Aries, I'm whatever. And then you really didn't know what that meant. But there is definite meaning to your astrology people believe, I believe, and I, I wasn't always like this, so part of my spiritual awakening and journey involved learning about numerology, astrology, and such. So, I am Virgo rising, so I have mostly earth and water in my chart. I don't have any fire. Um, I think my air is like my north node or something like that, Gemini. In tropical astrology there's even different studies of astrology there's something called Vedic astrology which is a whole nother animal but in tropical astrology and I'm also so growing up I was like what am I am I Gemini or am I cancer because I was born on the cusp June 21st and I'm like what am I so um Come to find out, I'm Cancer, but I'm like at 0 0.3 degrees Cancer, so I felt like I had a lot of Gemini qualities too. But it depends on the situation. And Virgo rising is how you operate in the world, how people see you um, when it comes to work and such. I'm very much a Virgo, very. Um, procedure what do they call it kind of a perfectionist I guess I don't know not so much as I got older but at a certain point in my life I was very much analytical perfectionist kind of thing but I am very organized and need methods to the madness and I don't like to break rules and so forth so a little bit boring more um, cautious than reckless, I would say. Yep. So, let me know what you are in the comments below. Again, if you don't know what you are, look at cafeastrology.com and I'll give you a heads up. And it's nice to get an idea of who you are and an understanding of why, what makes you tick that kind of thing. Why you tick a certain way. My gosh. I think I'm just immune to manifestations these days. I shouldn't say that, but I do get frustrated. Anyway, so someone in the family won, and it wasn't me. Let's just show the winner the lobster the shrimp dinner tonight. Thank you for playing. Thank you for listening. Have an awesome rest of the summer.